we've all seen it on a map, you can't miss it. Lake Winnebago is the largest inland lake in all of Wisconsin. And today we're exploring the three counties that surround that lake. So start your engines and your campfires as we welcome you to these endless shores on Discover Wisconsin. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. One of the best things about the very short trip from Oshkosh to Fond du Lac is the relaxing drive along Lake Winnebago. And knowing where I'm headed makes it that much better. I know I mentioned that it was short, but it's worth pointing out again that the trip from downtown Oshkosh to the heart of Fond du Lac is an extremely quick 20 mile drive right down the shore. My first stop in Fond du Lac County was the Thelma Sadoff Center for the Arts. This fully modern gathering place is considered the cornerstone of the arts and entertainment district in downtown Fond du Lac, not to mention one of Wisconsin's premier art galleries. I don't think you would come to Fond du Lac and expect to see something so amazing as Thelma. And that's why it is such a, a gem and so important to our community. And tell me about the exhibits that Thelma has to offer. Thelma brings in artists from all over the world. We've had artists from Paris, Italy, all over the country, of course, California, New York. We bring in sculpture. We bring in two-dimensional art. We bring in various kinds of medium. So Thelma is a multi-purpose center. In addition to art exhibits, what else do you guys have to offer? Oh, we offer concerts um, from intimate gatherings in our great hall with 250 to uh, full street concerts with up to 5,000 people. We have a film series, a literary series, including a book club just a wide variety of art choices for the Fond du Lac community. And I noticed in your logo, you have a very interesting A. It's almost as though it's unfinished. That is very astute. It's important that we have that unfinished A. It means there's always gonna be more to do, more to see, and more reasons to come back to Thelma. We're never gonna be done. As much as Thelma represents the heart of Fond du Lac's art and entertainment district, Lakeside Park does the same for parks and recreation. From a modern accessible playground and classic carnival rides to a lighthouse just perfect for a quick Instagram post, Lakeside Park is a great place to give back to nature without leaving the city. The reason why people in Fond du Lac and the Lake Winnebago region love Lakeside Park is it's a great place to just hang out with the family, picnic. It's just a super charming uh, destination for locals and for visitors alike. The carousel, the train, the playground, there's a lot of options. I didn't know I was kayaking today, but it's perfect because I get to skip arm day. If you are feeling brave, you can absolutely go out on Lake Winnebago, but I was playing it a little safer, stayed on the channel, which still had a lot of waterway to explore, a lot of beautiful scenery, and it was calm. I was in nature, but yet in a city, which was really great. But if you only want to be in nature, our next stop might be perfect for you. The Horican Marsh is this amazing part in nature, almost 33,000 acres. It is a wetland of international importance and a beautiful treasure here in the state of Wisconsin. A lot of Wisconsinites and Midwesterners don't know this is in our backyard, so what would they be surprised to learn about this place? Probably the size of it, it is the largest freshwater cattail marsh in the United States. We have over 300 different species of birds that do come here during the year at different times. And it's just a wonderful place to go out and experience nature and wildlife. And of course, one of the stops they can make is here at the Nature Center. What is there to do and see at the Nature Center? Marsh Haven Nature Center is a nonprofit nature center, so we're not part of the state or the federal government. And inside our building, we do have museum displays on the history and wildlife of the Horican Marsh area. We have a kids' room for kids and families to learn together. And then we're kind of known for our animal ambassadors, so we do have a variety of animals inside and that we also use for educational programming too. So you're saying families can start at the Nature Center, learn about what they're about to go see, and then go see it. 
definitely make it a whole day. There's so much to see here at the Horican Marsh. Follow Discover Wisconsin on Instagram to see behind the scenes photos and stories from our productions.